what I wanted to put on the back of my shirt. I chose the Phantom plane, which is the finite projected plane with like seven points. Um, but picking the front was a lot harder. I, at first, I uh, I thought I might do like some sort of tree structure, like a, a tree with uh, between like inclusions of different sets in each other, like computational complexity classes or um, some like like the tree we drew on the board in class. It went like set. Magma, monoids, semi group, group, ring, field, vector space, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but both of those had the issue that they were too like long and thin, they didn't branch out enough to look interesting. And I like the fractal, so I thought of putting one of those, but that was already done much better by some other people, so I decided not to do those. What are some other stuff I considered? I I thought of putting an, uh, a DFA, a deterministic something that's on the line, on it, but I, I didn't want to make the way all the way through this. So. <laughs> I didn't do that. Uh, what did you end up doing? <laughs> oh, what did I end up doing? Well, you see, these, these uh, first couple ideas, I was all wanting to put some sort of point because I still needed pigs. I'd only use seven on the back, so I needed to use ten more. But what I ended up doing is I moved all the pigs into, I moved the other ten pigs into sort of the corners of the shirt and onto the sleeve, so I didn't need to. And I put on a knot. It's it's my favorite knot. I, it, I drew a bunch of knots until I got one that was, like, interesting. It's, like, seven crossings. It's alternating. I don't know what it's called. Uh, I, like, I don't know its number. Uh, so that goes on the front end, and then there's the number 17. Just awesome. It's awesome.